Georgia Southern Athletics here with head coach Jeff Munkin as the Eagle football team prepares for its third straight semifinal appearance at North Dakota State Friday night, 8 p.m. on ESPN2. Coach, the weather's a little chilly here in Statesboro. Not what you plan for, but maybe something that'll help your team. Also got a little bit of rain, a little bit of discomfort out there on the football field. Tell us a little bit about how that works into your plan for this weekend's game. I think just uh, the weather and the, and the cold and we, we pipe noise into the loudspeakers just to to try to create a, a, a difficult environment for our guys, as difficult as we could make it. That's a loud place and uh, maybe as loud as any stadium we've been in, any, any stadium I've ever been in. I played in some, some big places against some big teams and, and as a coach and and uh, they do a great job out there. So uh, we felt like that was important. Just having the rain and the cold uh, added to the challenge. But I think it's good for our guys, good for the mental toughness and uh, just having to fight through adversity. Speaking a little bit of challenges, do you think it was a benefit for North Dakota State to see a version of the option prior to playing the Eagles this weekend? I'm sure it benefits them uh, to, to have two weeks of, of the same kind of offense. Um, but hopefully... And just the film will help us and, and uh, help us be better prepared. Our film from last year, the Wofford film, and, and, uh, and what we've seen them do throughout the year. You've talked about it before, Eagle Nation getting ready to travel for this, a lot of the fans being going on the road tomorrow to get up there in time for the game on Friday. What kind of advantage of that is spirit lifting does that give your team when they head somewhere so far away from Paulson State? Oh, we love to see the Eagle fans and, and – uh, I know Eagle Nation will show out. It's it's a that's a tough trip. I know not everybody can make it. And I know there's going to be a lot of people watching on ESPN too, and and cheering us on from their living rooms or uh, the gathering places. And and uh, we know they're there. We're excited that uh, our uh, Southern Pride band's going to be there, cheerleaders will be there, and and plenty of Eagle fans who've who've made made the made plans to make the trip and uh, and have tickets. We'll be excited to get there and, and be there with them. Coach, that's just one part of the week's preparations. What are some of the things you've done as a coaching staff with your team during finals, a particularly difficult time during finals, to get this team ready? We've had to uh, to adjust practice times, and uh, we've practiced a little bit later. We didn't get off the field tonight until about 7:45, but we got a really late start because of some final exams. So, uh, you know, we're just we're doing the best we can with it, and and just trying to get our guys focused when they get to the to the building here for meetings and practice and putting that other stuff aside for a few hours while we practice, and, and now they're going to leave and go right back and start studying for those tests that they have in the morning. The other thing, Coach, we talked about is we talk all the time, Georgia Southern Athletics, about rings and diplomas. Very special night tomorrow night after we walk through at the Fargo Dome. We'll have nine young men and a manager graduating. Tell us a little bit about how important it is that President Keel has continued this tradition from 2010. What a show of support, uh, just fantastic for our kids and their families. And I know it's very meaningful for them to, uh, to be playing in a, in a semifinal game, a postseason game, to be one of only four teams left in that excitement, but also uh, one of the biggest accomplishments of their life to this point, to, to earn a, a degree from Georgia Southern and, and uh, what that will represent for them for the rest of their lives. So really exciting. Our kids enjoy it. Uh, the coaches, the whole team, getting a chance to see those guys be honored and receive their diplomas. Well, Coach, we know that you've got a lot of preparation still to do before the team leaves Thursday afternoon for Fargo. We appreciate your time with Georgia Southern Athletics. Thanks.